All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're driving up the road, and I, I wanted to do a real quick video here talking about some of the current events and what's happening in our world. Today, Joe versus Putin. Yeah. Today, we got a guy who can barely carry on a uh, coherent conversation with just about anybody. Uh, he, his handlers have to present him with questions before they're asked. Uh, and, it, and then he's going to be in a situation where, let me back this up. So the CIA, so we have this kind of central intelligence agency. If anybody's ever interviewed with those guys, leave, them, leave me a comment down below because you can't exactly just go to the CIA and interview unless you are incredibly smart. And I'm talking about for an operative position. These guys, uh, they're very analytical. They're 100%. And I have to believe that the KGB is on par in their interview process. And Vladimir Putin is a retired ex-KGB agent. He's been around for a long time. So you know his mind is very sharp. And I'm not talking about how corrupt he is or whatever. I'm talking about when we have Joe Biden, whose mental capacities are that of a three-year-old, he is going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this guy. He's already said, one, he's a killer, but I'm, <laughs> but that was before he came face-to-face -face with him. And secondly, now he's a worthy adversary. So I think he's backing off of the killer thing because he knows he's going to go face-to-face -face with him. And typically when you're going face-to-face -face with somebody, your balls shrink a tad. <laughs> and I think this case, I'm taking a little itty-bitty peanuts. All right, so I want you to leave your thoughts down below. You got Joe versus Putin on this thing. Um, the scary part is that the handlers are not going to be able to pre-qualify the questions. Uh, he's over there going, we're going to ask them what we want. Well, you know what? It will not surprise me if Putin gets up and walks out. Okay? I think it's good that they're having a communication, but I also think it's bad that they're allowing the President of the United States to go one-on-one -on -one with this guy because it's really going to show the world exactly what we have. We have Joe Biden, and then you have the cackling hound uh, Kamala Harris, who can't be asked a question unless it's pre-fed to her. And if they, oh my God, if you question her, she go, I, I don't understand what you're doing here. You know, it, he's asking you a question. He deserves an answer. That's the part that I cannot stand of what's going on right now is that we have an administration where you can't ask them certain questions and they just, why, well, I don't know. What is your, what is your intent with these questions exactly? We want to know the truth, but you're not being told the truth with these guys, and it's going to show big time today because I think they're doing it right now. So the end result is on a world scale, the the globe is going to know what we have as a president. And it's sad because people were lied to and they voted for this guy. So with that being said, yeah, I think there's going to be some stupid things that are being said today. It's going to get ridiculous. And it's just, I don't know. I had to do a video on this whole thing because it just drives me nuts uh, knowing what is being done with our country. Uh, we are back. I guess we're back to paying for everybody. The Green New Deal. You got Boris Johnson over there in London talking about we need to do things more feminine. This is the shit that's going to be our downfall because China doesn't give a rat's ass about the Green New Deal. And you sure as shit know that <laughs> Russia doesn't give a shit about it. Mm. That's it. I just had to voice, had to, had, I, I wanted to vent a little bit about the, some of the frustrations that I have. And for people out there who's saying it's time to mount up and do things, I think you're right, but man, we literally need to shit or get off the pot. It's Boy 32 let me know what your thoughts are down below. Uh, the, the, uh, uh, the shoulder braces, the, not the shoulder braces, I'm sorry, the arm braces, uh, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to present to you guys exactly what's going on with the ATF and their cancellation, and this is exactly what it is, uh, uh, basically the shoulder braces. I, I don't know that any one of these things can qualify. I think the, uh, the KAK blade or whatever it was back in the day is probably the only one that can qualify. 
So we'll talk about the numbers. We'll talk about the number systems. Uh, I haven't watched anybody else's videos, and I, I haven't hit on this thing in quite a while. But we are going to jump on that. But with that being said, guys, that's my problem, man. We've got an invalid who's going to be going up against a KGB agent, and he's going to have his lunch eaten right in front of him. And somebody's going to get up and walk away from this meeting. So that's it. KB32, like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom's not free. I'm out of here. Y'all be good.